Lots of people get counseling on their relationship or mental health. But they forget what's most important, their brand. Everybody's a brand. With over 3.5 years of social media marketing experience, I'm here to penetrate your mind so your brand can penetrate millennials. When I saw the ad for this, I was really intrigued because I've been doing marketing for brands that I'm really passionate about, but I never really thought of myself as a brand. So we'll see what the day brings. Rachel's brand was as fake as my Adam's apple, so I gave her a branding plasty. This space is amazing. It's like, uh, it's like Banksy works here. Oh my God, are you Banksy? I'm not Banksy. Not, not, not even. Well, feel free to, you know, talk in your real accent with me. Screw Exxon and Cronuts, or however he would say things. What I'm getting here is like some sugar-coated Camp Tanawahaka exterior, and one-dimensional brands don't do it for me. Can you pull out your phone and read me the last text message that you sent? Um, hey Trish, you're amazing. Miss your face. Saw the kid in the kickball photo. Would love to know what that's all about. P.S. I love you. What was Trisha's response? She's yet to respond. I did some focus group testing, and unfortunately, a lot of America aligns with Trish. What? Janine Leeds from Jupiter, Florida says... She seems like every one of those annoying girls I went to high school with who said they were going to fail the test, but then got 99% and never got pregnant or tried hookah. Um, what am I supposed to do? Like, just make something up that's, like, really sad? Just, like, be sad? And... I'm not a naturally sad person. I want to get at your core truth. Not this T-Swift dancing, your mom is your best friend in this world facade. Okay. I'll tell you something about my mom. We got in a huge fight once when I was 16. I really wanted a puppy and she wouldn't let me have one because she's wicked. So I was really upset. I need to get some fresh air. So I went um, to, this, to this bench and who should approach me but this very robust, uh, burly gentleman who introduced himself as Piotr. He was Yugoslavian to my knowledge. And he said he had this farm. So I was like, I'll come to your farm. But the farm was actually just a studio apartment in Fresno that smelled like exclusively of pine saw and unwatered chia pet. Uh, ended up being in a sort of six year long loveless marriage. Only thing I was allowed to watch was The Mentalist, which is not a good show. There were a lot of snakes. I, I grew tired of it and I, um, I'm sorry. Hey. I took a kitchen knife and I just sort of like started like stabbing him um, in the aorta, just like over and over and over again. I could see his bones. <laughs> anyway, I went on the internet and it turns out it's really easy to dissolve a body. All his friends were still like on, in the Eastern Bloc. Um, so I don't really think they even noticed his being dead, and I sort of vowed that I would never again have a frown on my face. That was exactly the kind of raw honesty that your brand needs. Incorporate that, kind of gloss over the murder part, and you'll flourish. Well, are we done here? Because I could be done. We're just getting started. We all reveal things. I was fired from my job recently. That's the only reason I'm here. Uh, I was tweeting on behalf of the Bisquick account and I inadvertently tweeted something racist about Aunt Jemima. I'm in a bad place right now. I'm actually gonna need to go. I, is I, that I get it. is that cool? Yeah. Okay, so, no. You're kind of like facially that of Adam Driver, but like with more weird things going on. None of that happened. I actually got that from a monologue from an amazing off-Broadway one-woman show that I just saw called Pine Sol and Piotr, how one Wiccan lost her man but found herself. I don't know if you could tell, but I went to drama camp for many years in Maine, so.